Hello everybody, uh, so I'm back into the swing of my semester and I have a couple more points about notability and good notes. Some things that I've really noticed after plugging them into my schedules and my workflows. So let's start with good notes since we've gotten pretty familiar with notability. So one thing I really enjoy about good notes is the fact that I can create folders. In notability, you can create either subjects or dividers and you can't create like folder trees you know like an infinite set of folder trees where you can keep making nested folders this you can so you can just go into this you can do new folder new notebook so as you can see in here I've got a notebook for my lecture a notebook for my homework and uh, for other classes I have a recitation as well uh, this works out really well for like an organization standpoint, but one thing I came to realize is that doing a homework on GoodNotes is not very good. The reason I don't like GoodNotes' exporting system is because you only have the options to do a single page, the one that you're on, or the entire notebook. So I submit a lot of my homework online as PDFs, and if I'm exporting individual pages, I'm going to have to end up combining them on like an online like combining service which is just another hassle uh, another like part of downtime that I really don't want to waste my time on uh, the other way you could do it is have a notebook for each assignment that you do then you could just do export notebook and then you could uh, not need to combine PDFs so that's that's why I don't like GoodNotes as a homework app what I'm actually probably going to end up doing is uh, use good notes for note taking, like lecture and recitation, and for my homeworks, I'll just use Notability since it has just such seamless uh, exporting, I guess. So uh, that's just my two cents. Uh, some thoughts that I gathered in my time using good notes instead of Notability. Uh, I can say that good notes is certainly a very good. Uh, note-taking app especially this uh, shape tool right here like it, it's just so fast compared to notability and you can make decent squares and axes are really easy like look at that that's a paragraph axes in like less than a second so uh, also it's highlighter is a billion times better that's that's a good highlight notability needs to step its game up on that uh, I also like this tab orientation where uh, Notability has the note switcher if you uh, slide in from the left, but I I don't know. This is You sort of have to do an extra action in order to get there, and these tabs are available regardless of what action you do. They're there. They're just there, you know? So that's something I enjoy. Uh, I also like good notes... Um, it's paper templates. Like I said in the over the little initial thoughts and overview video, there's just so many different types of templates that you can use. Uh, in my philosophy class, I don't use dot paper. I use a two column paper. Since my notes are like actual words, I can I can just separate my page into two sections. Like oh, you probably don't want to do it like that. See. So I can end my notes at this center point and then continue on going this way so it saves more space. I can fit more notes onto a page, you know? So, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying GoodNotes as a note-taking app for sure, but it just does not have the exporting capabilities that Notability does. It just like the you can be specific with which pages you export, and that's necessary for sure. So, yeah, that, that about does it I guess uh, like I said I'm probably just gonna use notability exclusively for homework and then use good notes for any sort of note-taking application so uh, just an update on how my workflow is hope you guys enjoy hope you found it helpful uh, let me know if you guys have any other recommendations for apps like note-taking apps because these were the two big ones that I've heard of uh, one note I already talked talked about one note so I'm not going to do that, but yeah, just let me know. Uh, hit like, subscribe, come back for new videos, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.